a cold shoulder top with bows that's coming up. Hello fashion sellers and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cute top refashioned from a man's shirt. Let's get started. So you're going to need a man's shirt and make sure it's a pretty big shirt. And the reason why, because we're going to be cutting away the size to make it a little bit more fitted to the body. And those cutaways are what we're going to use for making the ties. So as you can see, I've cut away the size of the shirt, like so. And if you don't know how to do that, I do have a video tutorial on how to make a shirt smaller. So I'll put that link in the description. So once you've cut away the size of your shirt, we need to then make the shirt a little bit shorter. So we're going to cut it roughly about there from the bottom into the shirt so that we've got a facing for the arm hole cutout. So the first thing we're going to do is make a shirt smaller and then we're going to cut off the bottom to make it shorter in order to make some facing. So we're now going to shorten the shirt. I'm going to come about halfway between the last button and the next button up. Up there. Let's get my tape measure. Measure that down so it's straight and even. Oops. And do the other side. And get my scissors. My fabric scissors and then just cut straight across. So I'm now going to finish the raw edge. So I'm going to overlock or serge. You can also zigzag if you haven't got an overlocker or serger. So that's going to be the next step. The next thing you need to do is to try your shirt on and then decide where you're going to have this cold shoulder. So I'm going to go about here. I'm going to get a pin. Make sure I don't stick myself. <laughs> and put it in there. Do it again. There. Pick it up. And put a pin through. So there. And then I'm going to, when I come to cut out, make sure that I'm going to cut this direction to give myself seam allowance. And then decide how far down this, the sleeve that you want the cut out to be. So about there, my elbow is there. So I'm going to make it to just about there and then put another pin in. There, there we go. You don't have to use pins. If you don't want to, you can also do a little tailor tack or put some clips in. So that's, I'm happy with that, yeah. That's a good distance. Okay, so here are my pins, here and here, and I'm going to transfer those to the inside of the shirt. So that one was there. We'll place that. If you don't want to do it the way I did it, you can always use tape measure and measure down. Is there? I'm going to pull the shirt to the wrong side. So 
So I'm going to line up the shoulders. And the sleeves. Like so. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to put pins into the sleeve area so I don't get any movement. And one on the underarm. That should be good. I'll flatten out my shirt. So I've neatened the seams and also the hem of the shirt. Just making sure that the sleeves are lying flat as possible. Once you're happy with that, then you can start placing the pins into the other side of the shirt. So now I'm going through all thicknesses. Making sure my shirt is nice and flat. You want to make sure, you want to put in the effort to make sure it's nice and flat because you want your shirt to be nice and even. Reposition that pin. So once you're happy with the positioning of your pins, next thing to do is to think about the shape that you're going to be working with. So either cut from the shoulder or cut from the sleeve. I'm going to cut, start cutting from here. So you want a curved shape to be coming round here and then you want to taper in that curved shape towards the sleeve. So you can use a marker. Um, I'm going to be using a chalk. Now you may not be able to see this, but I can see it. And um, you want to make sure that you, when you're using the marker that it's not going to stain your shirt or fabric. Okay, so I've got that shape roughly in there. Or you can use pins as a guide. Like so. Now the pins are going to be the position, they are positioned for the stitch line, so you're going to be stitching along the marking if you've done a marking. And then we're going to cut just inside of the pins. So get your scissors. Hold that round. And you're just going to curve that round like so. I'm going to curve shape. And there we have it. So hold on to this section here. And then remove your pins. And then you should have your cutouts that look like this. So once you've got that done, put your shirt to one side. And then you've got your cutouts here. 
then you're going to get the bottom half of your shirt and you're going to open it out like so and you're going to get your little cut out and this is going to create the facing so you want to make sure yeah that's a better way to you've got enough room for your facing I like could do with a press yeah that's about enough room let me just try this way no that's not enough So you want to make sure that you position it so that if you have to come into this seaming here, then that's what you're going to have to do. Because we need to make sure that we've got a nice facing so that when we put the bows on, they the stitching and the finishing off of the raw edge isn't seen. So I'm going to put it on this section because there's the widest space to play with here. So you just want to make sure there's enough space on each section, like so, and just put a couple of pins in place. Like so. You get your scissors and then cut around your shape. Give it as much width as possible from this edge to here that your shirt will allow for you know it's going to get a bit narrow down this section here and around here You have a good shaping right so and I'm gonna cut into that like that and then just round it off there we go so now we need to make sure we get into to the inner section here so I'll get your marker and just mark inside like so Go all the way around. It doesn't matter if it's slightly uneven because remember we are refashioning in an old shirt, so or it could even be a new shirt, but we are refashioning a shirt, so we've got to make use of what we have material-wise if we want to think of it in that way. So I've got my shaping in there, and I'm just gonna Snip into it like so. So cut away the inside, and then you're left with a thin facing. Get your shirt and place it on top like so. and then place pins in position. All the way around.
you can, if you wish, overlock the outer edge, serge the outer edge before doing this step. And then you just repeat it to the other sleeve. So now that's in position, I'm going to do the same to the other sleeve and then take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around. So place your sleeve onto your sewing machine like so and we're going to start sewing on the sleeve section because that's where the bow is going to be. And once, you set, once you, you have finished sewing, make sure you clip into the curved edges, like so. And then you're going to turn it flat, and then you're going to understitch, because the understitching will allow the facing to stay on the inside of the garment. I now have the side section that you cut out in order to make your shirt smaller and these are what are going to make the ties so we need to cut these in half so get your fabric scissors and then just cut along the seam of the shirt we don't want that to be included in the ties it's too bulky and take it to about there and then you may have to cut it cut it off that section there okay, let's go a little bit further because I, I want long ties so yeah I think that's going to be about it and so you're going to cut the rest of the seam from this side should be left with a thin strip like so, so we don't need those so there we have one set of ties for one sleeve and then we do the same again for the other sleeve so you can get the two shortest ends and then we're going to join them together making sure that your right sides are together, right side to right side. And then you're going to get the ends where the shirt is a nice curved edge there. And then you're just going to do a double fold and stitch all the way around. So the shirt is almost completed. Here are the ties. And it's kind of an unusual shape, but it's to be expected because it is a cut from the shirt itself. So let me just show you where I joined the two sides together. And it didn't quite, I couldn't quite fold it, but that doesn't matter. So don't worry about it if that happens to you, because once it's tied in a bow, that won't be seen. So the best thing to do then now now the facing is nicely in, placed in, and what I did, I just placed a couple of tacks just to keep that in place. And you're going to find the centre of your shirt and then place. Make sure it's this way up, it's kind of like, let me show you. 
the curved edge make sure that's facing you and then place that but it just helps with the bow makes the bow stand out a little bit better and then place a pin and then what I'm going to do then is just sew on each side of that pin so I'll take that to my sewing machine and I'll sew it into place and then we'll tie the bow the tie is now attached to the sleeve and now ready to tie into a bow And then you just make sure that you've got that nice bow shape happening. Like so. We just put my and just tighten it. Yeah, happy with that. Now to keep it in place, what you can do is do a couple of stitches, little tacks, just to keep the bow in the shape that you want it to be. And it doesn't require a little bit of fiddling around, but that's a nice See how it turns a little bit. So I just want it to stay in that position, like so. And then all it requires is just a couple of tacks here and here to keep that in place. The top is now complete with the bow details. How pretty. So there's the bow details. If you're new to your channel, consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please do share. And I will see you next time.